Would you be able to multiply this times this on the spot? One nine nine three four six two seven. Four six two seven. Okay, good job. Meet the human calculator, turning your kids into whiz kids. So if they can do it, can you? Find out how to play the numbers game. 2020 continues. Here's John Stossel. It's back to school time. In these high-tech days, kids depend on their calculators just to add and subtract. But how would you like it if your children could be human calculators, multiplying big numbers with nothing but their brains? Here again with that story, Juju Chang. Here's a little Six, quiz. Seven, Try one. adding these three-digit numbers Eight, together 42. in your head. 543, 469, 321, 276, 937. These kids can do it. 546. Awesome. Okay. And how about multiplying four-digit numbers without a pen, paper, or a calculator? Okay. 1993-4627. 4627. Okay, good job. Surprised? It shocked us. This man isn't even a math teacher, but he's taught these eighth graders that math doesn't have to be scary. Um, 8642 1831. They're making it fun, and they think it's a game, although it really isn't. Five. Mike Beister is literally a human calculator. 618 divided by 47. 13.1. Four, eight, nine, uh, three, six. My calculator turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, he got it right. Mike has created a system for solving complex math problems that he calls brainetics. You knew from a very young age that your mind was a little different. Right, a little different. When did you realize that you could do things that other kids couldn't? I was always able to find patterns in things when I was a little kid. When I was three or four, I was able to memorize all the presidents of the United States. Three or four? Yeah, just one of those things. How that did I you do that? Kids have such a tremendous amount of mental capacity if they push themselves and use it. Combination. And he's trying to prove that in the classroom. Mike once displayed his card counting prowess on TV, which he says got him blacklisted from some casinos. In college, a professor told him he had one of the fastest mathematical minds in the world, but he wanted to do yeah. more than party tricks. Six, six, three, oh, for three. Good. I knew I had a system, but I thought I was the only one that could do my system. And one day, uh, my cousin, who was a math teacher, asked me to come and speak to her class, and the kids loved it. Mike decided rather than just showing the kids what he could do, he wanted to show them what they could do. The answer to number two is one to twelve. 27. Good. This classroom is a long way from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, where Mike started working more than 20 years ago. He used his unusual powers of observation and memorization to outsmart other traders. When I met him, he was working at the Mercantile Exchange, and he wasn't so happy. And he always knew that he wanted to do more. Which is why Mike quit his lucrative day job to volunteer full-time in Chicago area schools. That's right. 5,000 classroom sessions and counting, all for free. And I have to say that I think the most rewarding or the most heartwarming thing for me about being married to him is that um, he's doing what he loves and he's doing what he was born to do. Mike and his wife Robin live in a suburb of Chicago with their eight-year-old son Joshua. And in case you were wondering if math genius runs in the family, Joshua and Mike thought it would be a fun project to try to memorize a number and add one digit each day. One, two, zero, five, zero, seven, three, eight, four, six, six, six. After six months? Eight, nine, two, two, six, seven, three, one, two. Joshua's number was nearly 200 digits long and climbing. <laughs> Mike claims his son simply learned how to use his brain in amazing ways. Joshua, Mike says, is an average student, just like he was. And I'm going to teach you guys a bunch of things that you guys are going to take home and absolutely freak out your parents with tonight. Last year, we asked Mike to work with a group of students from Randolph Middle School in New Jersey. Mind you, he'd never met them before. Within 10 minutes, these students are using the shortcuts that Mike's invented. So how do you do this problem in your head? Here's Mike's formula for squaring numbers that end in 5. Take 25 times 25. You multiply the first digit, 2, by the next number up, 3, to get 6. Then multiply the last digits of each, 5 times 5, which equals 25. The answer? 
625. Mike has developed hundreds of these kinds of easy shortcuts and patterns to help demystify how numbers work. Let's see, you got it? You guys are good. Good job. Um, Mike and the kids definitely make it look easy. 6375. Right. So I even decided to try Mike's techniques. Oh, one, two, seven, two. <laughs> one, two. Ah. I was terrified yesterday. <laughs> terrified. You were great. I mean, I love that you got in and mixed it up with the kids and had a good time. Who's better at it, kids or adults? Oh, kids, no doubt about it. Kids don't care if they get it wrong. That's the problem with so many uh, adults is they don't want to be wrong. It's a very loud and powerful voice that says you can't do that. Right, and that's a shame. It's, you know, it really is a pity that, it, you know, so many people are harnessed by that instead of being free to learn so, mon so much more. Juju, 3692 for 7. 3692 for 7 is awesome! <laughs> what do you say to a child, or anyone for that matter, who says, in the age of calculators, why should I learn to do multiplication in my head? Because it reaches far beyond math. Here is what your mind could do. Now let's take it into other subjects. It's just like weightlifting. Okay, now you're stronger. Now you can do anything in the world that requires strength. Mike believes that by starting with kids as early as fourth grade, he can tap into the vast potential of their young brains. When I watched you yesterday, you look like you were having fun. Oh, I have more fun than you can imagine. I know what we have is special and I know what we have could change the world. I'm not that guy that's going to develop a cure for cancer. But you know what? Someone has their natural ability and they take my things sure. and use it to increase their mind and memory. Who knows what they can accomplish? 15, 26. Good job. Awesome. Well, our story added up to a big plus for Mike and his math. A man with deep pockets offered to fund a DVD version of Mike's program as well as a website expected to go online in November. So kids, hang on. Help is on the way.